Hi guys, we're the ECP team and today we're going to discuss on Eurovision 2021 entries. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Open up Rotterdam to the place in your heart where your own vision will start. So this time it will be all about one of the big five countries, actually France. France had the national final this year with 12 competitors in there and the winner of the jury voting and the public voting and everything was Barbara Pravi with Voila. So with that, French ballad, let's see what will be the fate of France this year. And uh, let me start this time, please. So it isn't a secret that Barbara was my favorite of that national selection, right? We we'll discussed it late, uh, back then. I don't know, it's just magical. I couldn't take my eyes off her. She's not only a singer, she's a performer. She's an actress for me. And the song is very simple, you know? She is half speaking, sometimes even talking, speaking. And very basic piano bad. And yet, sometimes simple is enough. I don't know, I, I'm totally after that. I really, really like it. I think it's the best entry that France has since for years, at least in the 10 last years, really. Very good one. Uh, yeah, you can call it the jury pleaser. I don't, I don't mind. I really like it. And I think that you will all be surprised because it will definitely be in a very high place this year. And uh, yeah, some of us can tell that it's it did PF influenced, but yeah, I don't think it's a, a bad thing because it did PF has passed and now it's uh, time for a new one. So Barbara, you can totally do it. And you know, one last thing, I really love the staging in the French national selection. I think it was magical. And if they keep it in that way for Eurovision itself, well, and Neil, let's hear from you. What do you think about Barbara? To me, it's one of the last plays of the whole Eurovision. I'm totally the opposite than you, Doron. It's a song that I just can't hear. I don't know. I don't like the song at all. I do agree Barbara is really cute, right? I saw uh, many uh, interviews with her. She's super nice. She's very, very funny, very young. And interpreted that to the stage, she brings us an entry like she's 80 years old. So that contrast don't sit together in my mind. When I heard the song for the first time, it reminded me of uh, Patricia Cass entry, which was way better. The song is too simple, too repetitive, not interesting at all. I, I can understand why people like it because it reminds them of friends Back then, you know, at the beginning, you know, the old days, old school style, but I don't know, it's like 2021, I, I want something new, fresh, modern. I can understand, you know, interpretations and, you know, I don't know, it's just a mess for me. I don't like the song. It's my 39th place, that's it. Wow, shocking. <laughs> really shocking uh, Karens what about you <laughs> sadly the magic for me has been lost also she was my one of my favorites but over time the magic uh, has been lost and it's, she, the song was the very drop in my top um, I like the song I like the vocals I like the story but yeah the magic is lost and I don't say nothing special in country, I hope they will do well because I want the France to win for some reason. But this song, I don't think it will win. At least, at least for me. Mm -hmm. uh, you've mentioned that it was dropped in your uh, ranking, right? Yeah. So where it is now, I mean, for example? Uh, twenty fifth. It was oh. was uh, it was from eighth to twenty fifth. 
Yeah, actually, the same thing happened to me with Finland. I mean, it was in my top 10. Now it isn't. Not a huge drop. And yet, I don't know, something was lost. But yeah, it can happen, you know, because uh, new songs just enter into our hearts and yeah. our ears. So it's definitely okay. We'll see what happens uh, when we, I don't know, what you hear or so something like this. Uh, so because it's an automatic qualifier, we don't have any prediction here. But we can predict, I don't know, if you want left side or right side of the table. Sounds fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for me, it's a definitely a stick left. What about you, Anir? As a prediction, my, of course. In my personal, I told you, it's my 39th place of the whole Eurovision. I'm sure. Um, yeah, but prediction? <laughs> yeah, prediction. It, 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 will, it will get a nice spot, I believe, in the top 10 this year. I see that a lot of people like that song. And yeah, that's what I predict. Mm-hmm. A, lot of winners, a lot of people talking about winning. There is no chance for winning with that song. Okay, Karens, left or right? Left. I want, I want to bottom of a left. left. Like Mercy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it will have a spot in top 10, but yeah, nothing is already, of course, guaranteed. Uh, time for scores. Let's start with the lowest one so it will be near. <laughs> it's a two for me. Okay, Karens? Six. It's a 10 for me. Uh, yeah, and I know that you usually think that I underrate the <laughs> entries, but this time I couldn't resist to give at least a nine and a half. But yeah, why not giving a 10? Because, you know, I really wanted friends for years to give something decent. They haven't done it, unfortunately. I didn't like their last entries. For example, 2019 was... I didn't like it, let's say it like that. Um yeah, this time definitely a huge improvement. And you know, last year's song could uh, put France in the la- very last place in the final with Tom, but now it is in this situation. So although I'm a supporter of selecting the same artist after your vision was canceled, this time I totally support the opposite. Uh, yeah, because it's a good option. So let's wish good luck to Barbara Pravi and France in Eurovision 2021. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like our videos and subscribe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye guys. Open up, write it down to the place in your heart where you.